It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 18th of January. I'm James Spann. Nothing but sunshine across the state today. Maybe a few scattered showers tomorrow. The better chance of rain this week will be Thursday and Friday. Here we go. We'll start with the upper air look, as we typically do. We have a zonal flow and a very dry air mass. Nothing but sunshine across Alabama today. That's the visible satellite image. Temperatures are in the 50s in most spots. Demopolis managing 60. Tuscaloosa 58, Anniston 55. And around the nation, there's the watch warning map today. Pretty quiet. Got some winter weather issues in the northeast, but overall a very calm pattern for mid-January. No thunderstorms across the country through tonight. No severe weather worries anytime soon. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Rain beginning to increase across the deep south, especially later this week. This is suggesting rain amounts for most of the state between one and two inches. Much of that will come Thursday and Friday. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at three. Got an upper low in the Pacific just west of Los Angeles. A zonal flow and a surface boundary approaching from the north. That'll be settling in here, and that might kick off a few scattered showers. This is the high-res NAM tomorrow at 3, showing a few showers north of Interstate 59. Probably nothing heavy, nothing widespread, but the chances there. Otherwise, a mostly cloudy day tomorrow. High should be in the middle 50s. Wednesday, we're dry. Mid to upper 50s, a partly sunny day. But then Thursday, a wave forms on that front, and that will likely bring periods of rain during the day Thursday. Probably no thunder. The high should be around 60. Not going to rain all day, but rain at times. And the same thing on Friday. And again, the GFS hinting the Tennessee Valley could be dry, but we're not totally convinced of that. So rain at times both Thursday and Friday. Cooler Friday with a high in the low to mid-50s. What about the weekend, you ask? Well, Saturday looks pretty good. This is the surface look at 3 o'clock. We're dry. The sky partially sunny and seasonally cool. The high should be in the low 50s. And then Sunday, we got a south wind. Moisture begins to return. We could see a few showers maybe by Sunday afternoon. And then Monday, a week from today, got a pretty impressive shortwave out there across the Great Plains. A deep surface low underneath that thing over Missouri well under 1,000 millibars, and if this is right, that might generate some strong storms, although uh, we're not seeing any surface-based instability. This is the Cape Monday at 3 o'clock, and that's typically the limiting factor this time of the year. But the European says, nah, it's not going to work out that way. There could be rain on Monday, but no deep surface low, no chance of thunderstorms. So we'll get some better resolution on that in coming days. We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 28th. Northwest flow aloft, and again, a cool, dry air mass in place. Snow lovers, this doesn't look good. Uh, this is the snow for Birmingham through the 2nd of February, and I got a couple of members with a flake or two here or there, but again, that's a very quiet winter weather look for Birmingham. Rain for Birmingham off the same uh, model, the European Ensemble, the mean, about 2 inches over the next 15 days. Some of the members ramp up to 5 inches. Temperatures about where they should be through the 28th of January. Most days, highs in the 50s, lows 30s and 40s. And hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook for the 26th of January through the 1st of February, showing temperatures at or maybe a little above average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.